Mm, I don't like that. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I like that much better. <clears throat> Why dost thou? Um, cause I just do. Okay. Um. Go, go, random generate. Make me a map. For Minecraft. Uh, yeah. Okay. More options. Create new world. Holy crap. That's unusual. Excuse me a moment, I'll be back.
apologies. Just give me a moment. Alright. Do 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 do. Uh huh. Mm hmm. Oh ho. <clears throat> okay, get all of this organized. Seems like a good as place as any to build. But first, let's see if I can't get to some sapa rings. Ah, one. Good. I get more than one. It, it is that is that a thing? Game, I'll thank you to cooperate with me. Nope, just one so far. Okay, well, I'll take what's left of this wood here. See if I can't scale up. Ooh, coal. That's going to come in handy later. <clears throat> okay, I can't make that jump. Can't make that jump apparently either. Okay, fine. I'll do this. There we go. Hey, look! Llama! And more coal. <laughs> right. Flatten off the top of this a bit. did get a second sapling. Hello to you too. Now where am I gonna plant this? Yeah, 
Yeah, that seems to be a good spot right there. I like the view. I'd just like to see a, a little bit further. Like a, an extra three chunks further. What are you doing here? Don't look at me like that. That's right. T don't look at me. Walk away. Okay. I'm going to be building something on top of this mountainous area. So I might as well start here. There we go. Well, starting area. Uh, that, 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 and... Add you on the Xbox One. Why? Throw in some dirt. Because it will evolve into a Wubbuffet. That's why not. Get me a crap. There we go. Now. Right here. Do this. Get three of those. Kid? Who? Are you calling someone a kid? <laughs> you? <laughs> Tell you what, uh, is, is your, your, um, your gamer tag the same as the, uh, name that I'm seeing in chat? Okay. Right, I'll send you a message later. Right now, I'm just messing around in Minecraft. I wish they hadn't changed the enchantments to where you can't have infinity and mending on bows. I really enjoyed having that. Okay, I wanted to make... There we go. My thing is, it's it's not just everyone's pursuit of happiness. Code. Are you trying to ask for a, a an Xbox Live code? In order for me to give those out, I have to have people supporting my channel on Patreon. Patreon. And I've got zero right now. And I just recently had to restart my entire YouTube channel. Because I went off and started uh, promoting my own channel myself by spamming comments. And then YouTube was like, nope, we can't let you do that. We're deleting your channel. So I'm like, okay. That seriously hurts. And it still seriously hurts. Um, hang on just a moment. <clears throat> I literally have zero videos on my new channel. Uh... There you go. There you go. Can you see that in chat? I've got a video actually scheduled to go up next week. One video. And then when I'm finished with this stream, it'll go onto my channel.
32. Wow, and I even missed some. Yeah, there we go. Uh, now, what am I going to... There we go. Much more better. Have my trees grown? I don't think they have. Nope. But while I'm here, I can get the coal. What his? What, what what do you mean? <laughs> oh, that's what that was. That's a llama. What one what? Typed it out in the Yeah. Hang on, hang on, hang on. There you go. Try that. Does it say something different? When you search for that, does it say something different then? Grow trees, grow. I'm not paying you to sit there and do nothing. Okay. No. Uh, no, I think I will make some of those. I know exactly what I'm going to do with these. I'm going to put them around these trees and see if that makes them grow a bit faster. Uh, yeah, right there. Actually, no, I'm gonna move it further. There we go. There we go. I'll add more trees later.
Right, and I'll start this excavation, and then this will be a little mining area. Right down into the mountain. What's all that for? You're bad. If you say so. More coal. Wonderful, more coal. Mad bad. Okay, if you say so. Much more coal indeed. Okay, and yeah, I'll just continue going down right here. And break a pickaxe. What do you mean by a code? One a code? What do you mean? Yeah, I already answered that question. Did you forget? <laughs> no, I don't have extra codes to just give out to anybody. If I had people uh, contributing to my channel on Patreon, then I could just buy codes for people. Yeah, please doesn't make it magically appear in in reality for me. It doesn't just make it appear and exist. I don't have one. I do have a nuisance called a train going through the background. You'll hear it momentarily. Or not. Either way. to you too. Okay, I'm gonna have to plug that hole back up. 
But first, some torches. Uh, what do I need out of here? Yes, I will take and use the dirt to plug the hole. And that needs to go right there. Well, that is a lot of torches. Invite? No. I've had too many people be rude and obnoxious already. That's why. Oh, okay. Yeah, right there. Every last step of the way. There we go. Seems about right. Nope. There we go. I had just enough dirt. <clears throat> You're not rude? Okay. Well, not in this one. I'm just messing around right now. Perhaps later. There we go. Got all those. Hmm. <laughs> Nifty. I seem to have stair-stepped my way down into a nice cave. It's a cave of wonders, Batman. I knew it, coal. There's coal everywhere. Brilliant. Now I can make torches. All I have to do is find wood. What? Um, I don't know. Better not go too deep into this, though. Wait, did that, that literally leads right back outside. Okay. How far outside? <laughs> that far. I'll just get this cold while I'm at it. Who are you asking for a code? Any more? No. Coal gone. Alright. Right back down here. Dang it. I should have been paying attention to that. Ah, wonderful. My trees have grown. Now I can make an axe. Oh, 
Okay, come on, give me, give me sap rings. Give me sap rings. Woo, one sap ring. The tree harvesting may continue. Ooh, four. Oh, wonderful. Even better. There we go. And I'll come back for more later. What? What do you mean, uh, one hundred and twenty-three dollars? I C O. What? Um, yeah, that right there, like so. Okay, I have no idea what you mean with all those little pictures there. There we go, put that there, and I'll use that bit later. Hey! I winky, 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 teeth poo. Oh, okay. <laughs> you with the winky teeth poo poo poo, whatever, popo. Pa 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 pa. Okay, go go for it. Wait, I need to make torches. Before I go further. <coughs> and there we go. Okay, good for you. You go and you do that thing. What, uh, okay, why, 79, I've got quite a ways to go before I hit bread rock. Wonderful. More coal. This is a lot. Ooh. I need 
to seal that up. Random patches of cobblestone. Why not? I'm not worried about it. Welcome back. I am... I am here, as I have been. Oh, yeah. I just remembered, or rather re-remembered, since my YouTube channel got deleted... I have to re-record everything I already did for Fallout 4, for South Park, The Stick of Truth, for Dead Space, for everything. No worries. It's just going to take a while. I'm going to my front flat dirt burp. All the way back up. Make another pickaxe. Literally, mining and crafting. That's the name of the game. Don't know why they added in Call of Duty mechanics and map downloads. That's not mining crafting. That's mining Call of Dutying. Andesite. Okay, you can go there and diorite. Diarrhea, right? Yeah, you can go there. Cobblestone. Yeah, I'll just keep that on me for the moment. Snapchat? No. I'm just one me. I can only keep track of yay so many things. Hello. I should have made some torches. Let me go and... and... There we go. Torches. Torches for days. Well, not exactly, but torches. I have torches now. More coal. Always using more coal. Oh, why thank you. Thank you very much for stopping by and saying hello. Alright, that, that spot I'm plugging up with stuff. Because... I want to. There we go. All nice and plugged up and walled off. <clears throat> Not walled or sock bat. Another cave! It's fantabulous! Careful, you could fall right in it! <laughs> oh my gosh. Look out! It's coming right for us! No, literally, it's like right there. So I have to switch to this side. Okay, there you go. Yeah, there you go. I'll be removing part of the wall I previously installed. I don't like this gravel being right here. This is very uncomforting.
Mostly because I'm worried that you're going to live. That's fantastic. At least you're not going to die. You're going on live. Oh, I thought you said you're going to live. I misread the on as a two. Whoops. At least mining right at the edge of this. Yeah, coming down into here, I can have a, a variable... Oh, wow. It literally leads to the outside again. That is the second opening. <laughs> huh. <laughs> I will be able to make something very splendid. Very splendid indeed. I'll be able to make a flying buttress. And then there's some gravel over there that, that'll fall if I get too close to it and start pouncing on it. Anyway, I'll be able to make, um, what's those thingies? They're usually made out of rope and wood, and they consist of bridges going across to one another, and they have scaffolding that clings to the edge of the cave walls. I can make that. I forgot what it's called, but I can make it. I want to get all the way down to the bottom first. That is not going to happen off of one pickaxe. Oh, well, that's nice. I'll just um, build a little thingy right here, and well, I'll just remove you and dig down right here. Oh my. Oh my, oh my. Ooh. Ah. Much more. Much more. And is that the last one? No, there's more. I'm a level nine coal... Uh, level mine. Level nine coal miner. <laughs> level mine. All mine level of coal mines. I have no idea if I mind at all, but a torch will help me. Like right, that, right there. Yeah, I mind it all, so it's gonna get plugged up. Now I have more torches. Place them here, place them there. Also, I will place them every freaking where. Why? Because, uh, mostly because I wanted to say that that word because it rhymes. That is one thing that stuck with me from English class. Making things rhyme. Poetry. 
Alliterative rhyme screams. I mean schemes. And then turning them into rhymes. Maybe not in that order. Maybe not together. But... Somehow, some way. I'll make another mistake today. <laughs> And I, I, I appear to be expanding my staircase into an uber-wide staircase. It's gone from a double to an uber. That is one nice uber staircase. It goes right through the ravine, literally. I love it. Iron! I have been waiting for you, Iron. Now I have found you. You shan't escape me this time. Whoa! Not even hollowing out the land beneath me can stop me from mining you. You tricksy little Iron, you. Oh, I see how it is. Pull all the tricks out of the book. No holds. Absolutely none have been barred. I know how it is, Iron. You just are playing hard to get. <laughs> That's your game. But I got you anyway. And I need more sticks. Okay, that's a lot of coal. Andesite, diorite, granite. Why is the granite red? I don't understand. You're getting filled up. There you are. Much more better. And I might as well fill that one in. And I'll just go back to a, a normal staircase. But with feelings. Why are you like that? Can't you just be normal? Stairs. What's your problem here? Don't say it's me, because I'm chipping away at your patience. Great, you broke my pickaxe. How am I going to craft another pickaxe? I'm not, I already have one. Silverfish? That means I'm close to a, um, a thingy. Holy crap! Silverfish usually means that you're close to a thingy. I forgot what the thing is called, so bear with me. So somewhere around here, uh, I don't know how many blocks, but somewhere, the the um the the thingy with the uh, end portal frames. Yeah, that, that cheeky little plunker. Actually, before I go all the way back up, I'm going to fill this area with light. Because I need to. 
Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh wow, it's raining. Nice. Do 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 do. Now, very few monsters are likely to be spawning here. Technically, I know. Placing torches closer to the ground makes their light work better, so I'll just go ahead and do that right there. However, my uh, tunnel here isn't uh, too wide and too long, so having the light on the roof works okay. Just Try not to get too upset that I'm not placing the torches upon the ground. Okay, I need to make a couple of those and a couple of these. Yes, three of those. And another of these. Okay, stash some things, uh, such as, yes, all of you, all of you, and, and the gravel, too. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna separate the gravel. Totally, yeah, like, right there. There we go, that that looks okay. Eight of those, yeah, that that can go into the finest. And uh, one of those will work for eight. There we go, yeah. Stuff, things. And the dirt. Um, yeah, you can go right there for now. That song actually, that, not song, music. Songs have lyrics, music is just sounds. That music is stuck in my head. <laughs> Okay, I was standing at this level when I discovered the silverfish stone, so I'm going to spelunk at, at a, around this level. find it going about it this way but I will continue to explore okay uh one two blank Pum 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 p
bum 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 Ooh, coal. How splendid. I will mine it for myself. Not to be confused with the mice and the elf. Ooh. Give me that coal. It's mine now. Now continuing onward. There's some iron. Nice. Bum 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 iron for me to mine right here. Dun 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 Oh Okay. I'm gonna continue on this way then. Ah, it broke. It's okay, I have spares. Woo, an aquifer! Holy crap, yeah. An aquifer with lava. <laughs> I don't know how it managed it, but that is so cool. I like it. I'm gonna mine this coal. Aquifers are nice little interesting structures that, uh, up here, if monsters spawn in them, they don't have to worry about anything. Because, you, A, you can't get to them. B, the water keeps them alive even during the day. C, they're underground. <laughs> so what do they have to worry about? Oh wow, that is a lot of coal. I'm gonna have to block you up. Bloop, 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 bloop. There we go. Okay, now I can mine the coal. Is anyone else thinking of the song Brass Monkey by the Beastie Boys? I don't know, maybe that's just me. Mostly because the, what is it, the saxophone? It sounds like a duck. I'm gonna plug this hole up. Why did it ever jump out of it? I'm gonna plug it up anyway. Uh, no, no, no. I plug it up. Plug that hole, Jimmy. There we go. That hole is plugged. And there's still more coal to be had. I will had that coal. I will had that coal good. Uh, 
Oh yes, all the coal. I had it good. Okay, there was one bit. There it is. I managed to maneuver directly beneath it. How absurd! Okay, I went down one, two, water level. Torch for lighting. Because. Forget the monsters. Just forget the monsters. <gasps> Iron! I will take you, Iron. Shh. No one else needs to know about it. It's our little secret, Iron. Plug that hole back up. For anyone wondering what I'm humming and making lyrics match up to, it it's a classical score. That's what they were called back in the days. Classical scores. Uh, actually, they weren't called classical. They were just called scores of music. I don't remember which artist. I don't remember. Remember. I remember nothing. <laughs> because I have not been told which artist it was. Nor which score. I, I don't even remember. Because I, I have no memories to go upon. So I was not told. Yeah, I'm going to keep that right there. Then I'm going to go back down one. That way I don't get any lava in here with me. There we go. Perfect. It's bugging me that I don't know what the name of that score is. Okay, you go there, you go there, you come down here, um, you go over there, you come... Wow, that is a lot of coal. I'm going to place a torch right here as well. Hmm, interesting setup. <laughs> I'll take it. Oh, ow. My back. Oh. Don't slouch when you sit down, kids. It hurts to straighten up. Sit properly with a straight back to begin with. Don't slouch. Place down another torch, go insane. <sighs> Let's go out and sing inside the moon. Oh, yeah, yeah, I'm just going along, just humming to my onesie. Just quietly going insane very loudly. <laughs> Again. Ah, yes. Feel the insanity. T 
taste the rainbow. Skittles, you crazy kid. Skittles. <laughs> Speaking of Skittles, does anyone remember... How am I doing? Um, YouTube deleted my uh, channel, so I had to start another one. Um, I have rheumatoid arthritis, coupled with a an extreme vitamin D deficiency. The rheumatologist said it was the lowest he's ever seen. the The minimum reference range was like uh double digits and mine was half of it <laughs> yeah so I, I, I I'm on disability because of uh, numerous things I literally can't work a job so I, I started doing YouTube because you know it, it was easy it was something I could do and uh, I'm okay at games so Doing a gaming channel seemed like the thing, so I decided, why not? And, you know, two years into it, YouTube says, okay, you're trying to promote your channel? Well, we call that spam when you send, uh, a, yeah, it was just, uh, what was it? What message? Yeah, I told people, yeah, come check out my channel, but don't abandon your favorite YouTubers in the process. So I spammed that message to several people who had commented in videos, and YouTube was like, oh yeah, well, since you're promoting your channel, yeah, we're going to take it away from you. Sent an appeal asking them, hey, since you're not going to let me promote my own channel, why don't you promote it for me? They said, oh, we're, we're not going to let you have your channel back. So... Yeah, it is. YouTube is doing lots of dumb things. So, in order for me to actually do stuff, I gotta rely on viewers to go to uh, Patreon and support my channel. So, yeah, I've gotta re-record everything. Literally, every video is gone. I don't. I didn't have backups. I could not afford to buy uh, backup storage devices to put it all on. So, two years worth of videos are gone. And people wonder why a, a disgruntled YouTuber uh, went to their headquarters and, and was a complete rude person. Yeah, people wonder about that. I wonder why. Hmm. Could it be YouTube's, uh, backstabbing policies? Oh, dude, I am 30 years old. <laughs> The, the, those words you just said, that that's just a word, man. <laughs> Streamwise. Streamwise. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. Well, uh, I mark my stream as 18+, plus, so if someone's in here who's not... Uh, mature enough, that's their own fault for trying to circumvent the rules that I set in place. Anyway, <laughs> as far as YouTube is concerned, um, swearing is completely different from saying derogative slang words. There is a massive difference. Swearing is making an oath. It's like making a promise, but you're making it with, uh, basically you're having, like, the deities or something back you up and, and forcing you to m uphold your word. That's what swearing is. Cussing? Yeah, okay, fine, go for it. They're just frickin' words, man. <laughs> they ain't gonna hurt nobody. I mean, they could hurt feelings, but, you know, I, I, 
I assume that me rating my stream as 18 plus takes care of that. I'm too wise. Yeah, um, you know, like me and, and uh, the character Rick Sanchez. There's no place for wise people in society. There really isn't. Because I'll tell people, hey, yeah, this thing is, that uh, you're doing right now, it's going to cause these events in the future. So please don't do this thing you're doing. Do it differently. And then I'll tell them, hey, this is the way you, I would really like for you to do it because it'll have this outcome. Nobody likes to listen. But then at the same time, I, I need to keep in mind, sometimes it's best for people to learn the hard way. Because <laughs> there's certain things the mind has to discover on its own, just the way that, you know, certain stages of development for anyone, they have to explore things on their own. Yep, exactly. They'll never learn if I don't let them. But at the same time, I'm going, I told you so. <laughs> it's like when I tell people, hey, do it this way, I'm definitely going to let them learn to do it themselves. I'll just, I'll just be like, hey, I'm here if you need me, okay? But definitely do it that way. Like, uh, here's a, here's a good idea for YouTube. They need to have a massive sit-down with their top creators, Pewds, Mark, Jack, people like that, and they need to go, okay, here's what we want to accomplish, and here's the way we're thinking about going about doing it. What are your input? Because this ready-fire-aim business... It's great for comedy, but it doesn't... They don't care? <laughs> hey, yeah, they, they're proving that they don't care. Uh, someone who has more foresight than I will admit to right now for certain reasons that will not be discussed right now said that YouTube is going to push everyone, Mark, Jack, Pewds, every creator myself included, and, you know, they've already started, they're going to push everyone to the point where YouTube may not be a thing anymore. I can see the stars through that waterfall. Okay, that is the third exit to the outside that I've found. I find that peculiar at this point. I've never found that many in such a succession before. Anyway, yeah, YouTube should sit down with their top creators and brainstorm, have a, a massive jazz session of ideas for what they can do, how they can do it, what's best for everyone involved, and then they should tell their top creators, look, in order to keep this information from the bad actors because, you know, they're, they're still gun-shy over um, the whole adpocalypse situation. YouTube themselves are still gun-shy over that one. And it wasn't pewds that started the adpocalypse. It was terrorist groups getting funding on YouTube. So YouTube's real afraid of that. Plus, uh... Pretty much everybody pulled funding because they ignored the problem until it was too late. So they're acting out of fear. Definitely acting out of fear. I don't know how much good me telling them that, that I, that's what I see. I don't know how much good telling them that will do, but that's literally what's happening. Every little teeny tiny thing, they blow out of proportion because they're afraid.
So, when you spam a, a comment more than a certain number of times, they blow it out of proportion, and they think that you're doing things you really shouldn't be doing when, in fact, you're just trying to get an audience for your channel because they've made it so preposterously difficult to grow a YouTube channel. So, now the head honchos that make the crap tons of money, they don't care <laughs> till it actually matters. Oh, yeah. Um, basically, they're just, they're reacting, which in itself, it doesn't sound like a bad thing, but it is a bad thing when you react, because, uh, causality. Reaction implies lack of evolutionary progression. It, it's... It's a very bad thing, sociologically, economically, holistically. Reaction is a very bad thing. However, when you apply, uh, I think it was in a book written by a gentleman named David Emerald. I think the book was called The Empowerment Dynamic. It was either that or nonviolent communication, a way of life. It was either one of those books. When you act upon the situation, when you choose what action you will take instead of choosing to react to a situation, it's a lot better because you stop, you think, you make a choice, you weigh the consequences of that choice, then you proceed to act. Where reaction, you're just knee-jerking, basically. And the term knee-jerk comes from when you go to the doctor and he uses that little rubber mallet on your uh, your knee and it makes your knee jerk. That's literally what that phrase comes from. Knee-jerk reaction. It, it's an involuntary thing that you don't attempt to control all the time. So... Reactionary stuff is very bad. It's bad for everyone involved. Wait, I need to keep those right there. And that is what the people at YouTube are doing right now. They are reacting to the... the olive null of society holistically that they've created in a virtual construct. That's literally what YouTube is. You know, you hear Markiplier say, I know YouTube. No, you really don't. YouTube is an olive null of reality. Or society. Either way. YouTube is... Well, the internet, including YouTube, is... a much smaller version of society as it is. I'm not sure how much simpler I can make that one. That one's a really complicated thing to describe. The mathematic term, all if null, is um, it's something I learned from watching Futurama. Yeah, those guys who uh, write on Futurama, they are mathematicians. They have PhDs, doctorates in applied mathematics and theoretical physics. And they're cartoonists. It's, um, it's sort of a poetic justice. <laughs> okay, I need to make these things. Uh, move those up there. So for me, I have to be insane. Literally. The literal definition of the word insane, to go against the flow of. Well, I, technically, that show irks you. You don't know why. Um, that, um, that there could be, there could be multiple reasons that it irks you. 
one that I would propose is that at least on a subconscious level, which the subconscious human mind processes information about 80 to uh, either 80 or 8,000 times faster than your conscious mind. So subconsciously, when you see certain things, like you, you integrate them into your knowledge base instantly, basically. So for them to go off and um, show what they're showing in Futurama and for them to have the PhDs and the doctorates that they have, that says that, uh, at least on the subconscious level, they could be actually predicting the literal future. So, theoretically, mathematically, it's possible. Also, Matt Groening, yeah, he's the same dude who made The Simpsons. And look at all the, uh, that's awesome, this whole conversation just wrapped around you being insane. Well, before we get on the subject of Futurama, yeah. Yeah, Matt Groening, who made uh, Futurama, also made The Simpsons. <laughs> So, him and um, the others who were working on both the shows, it, it definitely shows that, uh, at least on the subconscious level, they're processing what the possible future outcomes could be. Me, I do that consciously. And people call me crazy. So I'm just going to stick with the title of insane because it's easier for people to understand. It's just a lot easier for everyone involved. If I stick with saying I'm insane, it is so much easier for everyone. I'm going to go around this. I hope that that's possible. A smart cookie? Who, Matt Groening? Mentally open, not close to learning new things or thinking things can't happen, and yeah. Matt Groening, yeah. Okay, yeah. Yeah, he, he's, um, yeah, he's a smart cookie. He went and became a cartoonist, a doodler. And, you know, look at the conspiracy theories or the theorist uh, channels on uh, YouTube. I'm not sure if Matt Pat from Film and Game Theorist has got in on it, but... The Simpsons has predicted the outcome that has occurred more than once, including Trump becoming president. And that's just the uh, the 18 and under safe theories that have come out. There's some other ones that are uh, morbid. So, yeah, me being mentally open, that that's a good thing. <laughs> However, I have to dumb it down so that people who are less developed, shall we say, people who are closed-minded, people who don't understand, stuff like that, so that they can understand. It's like when the Zen Buddhists or Shaolin monks try to translate universal truth into language that normal people can understand. Or you could actually reference a movie for that. Uh, the Bulletproof Monk, starring Xiao Yun Fat. He said, why do hot dogs come in packages of ten, but hot dog buns only come in packages of eight? Uh, 
kind of at the same time he he was not just translating universal truth for the uh the other main character of the film to understand he was testing him at the psychological and emotional level to see just what type of person he was Depending on your answer, that, that determines what type of thought process you use. Yes, it is true, but you haven't answered the question. <laughs> and you don't have to. I've already explained everything. It kind of breaks the validity of the test anyway. Never thought about it, so you don't know. Well, they were eating a hot dog at the time, so it, it kind of became a situational thing where it was adapted to whatever situation they were in. Too tired to think in that type of logic. Now that's fine. Uh, what time is it? <laughs> Let me check. For me, it is 4.09 a.m. Oh yeah, brilliant. You've got 2 a.m.? Okay, you're on the west coast, aren't you? Alright, rock on. Now hold on just a moment. <clears throat> okay, here's uh yeah, my my thingy, mine. Okay. Okay, well, one quick thing before you go. That, that that I just typed in, that's me YouTube channel that this is going to go to soon. <coughs> oh, wait, you already left. <laughs> <laughs> now I'm sitting here talking to myself. What are the odds of that? Oh. Okay. You're welcome. And, uh, it's nice to have a joke somewhere, isn't it? Also, I... should... I should close up shop and get some rest of myself. I've had a very emotional day. Or a, an emotional two days, to be honest. I've been mulling over what YouTube did for the last two days. So from now on, I'm just going to ask you to... Oh, you, okay. Don't know when, but sometime. I'll just ask you guys who are going to be viewing to promote my channel by asking your friends to watch and supporting on Patreon. I do. Twitter, Facebook... I don't do Reddit. <laughs> yeah, I I uh I have um yeah, I've got Twitter. <laughs> eh, I I'm not worried about Reddit. There's this one dude in Australia who does some stuff on Reddit. He just does it for content on his channel. Like, uh... Quote-unquote reaction. You're 21 and that confuses you. Okay. Sometimes... I gotta go with Rick Sanchez on this one. Sometimes you just gotta don't think about it. Yeah. <laughs>
Yeah. Anyway, you don't don't wait on me, dude. You go ahead and you get rest for your work tomorrow or today. Either way. And uh yeah, I I uh typed out my YouTube channel so you can check that out when you get to and uh consider joining my Patreon if you like or find someone else to do that as well. I'd appreciate that a lot. But you go ahead and get some rest. Thanks for sticking with me for a while as well. I appreciate that. Yeah, but for sure I'll sub to you. I'll catch you later. Yeah, no problem. All right. Yeah, good, good morning to you. <laughs> and a good morning, good night, and a farewell to everyone else who's going to be watching this when it does hit YouTube. Uh, yeah, I'm going to have links in the description for Patreon, PayPal, GoFundMe, and uh, I should have links on the main channel's uh, page for those as well as Twitter. I think. I, I didn't bother trying to memorize it. I'll make sure the links are there anyway. Till next time, everybody. <laughs> <laughs>